I, I am Navin Kumar from Surat School, Mahendragad. I am here to discuss the topic grouping of two unidentical cells in series. First of all, series grouping. The two cells are said to be connected in series when one positive terminal of one cell is connected to negative terminal of other cell as shown in the figure. Let two cell of EMF E1, E2 and internal resistance R1, R2 connected between points A and C having current I. Now the potential difference or terminal potential between points A and B for first cell we can write VA minus VB that is equal to E1 minus I R1. The current between two cells remains same because in a series combination there is only single path to travel the current. So current in both the cells are, is I. Now terminal potential of second cell between points B and C that is equal to VB minus VC that is equal to E2 minus IR. Current is also same here I. Now the equivalent EMF of two cell between points A e and C we can calculate by adding equation 1 and 2 means terminal potential between point A and C that is V that is equal to VA minus VB from equation 1 plus VB minus VC from equation 2 that is equal to E1 minus IR1 plus E2 minus IR2. Here from this equation we can write V is equal to E1 plus E2 minus taking I as common R1 plus R2. Now if there is a single cell, if there is a single cell between point A and C having EMF, E equivalent and internal resistance R equivalent, then the terminal potential between point A and C can be written as V is equal to E equivalent minus I R equivalent. I is the current flowing in the cell that is I. Then from equation third and fourth, comparing equation third and fourth, we get total EMF of two cell in a series combination that is equal to E equivalent. E equivalent, comparing equation three and four, E equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2 and R equivalent, total internal resistance of two cell in series combination, R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. If two cells are connected as shown in figure means negative terminal of a cell first with the negative subterminal of a cell 2. Negative terminal connected to the negative terminal. In first case we have connected negative terminal to the positive terminal of other cell. But in the second case here we connect negative terminal of first cell with negative terminal of second cell as shown in the figure. Now the current in both the cell are in opposite direction as shown in the figure. Ne the current in both the cell are in opposite direction. So total equivalent EMF in this case we can write E1 minus E2. Here E1 minus E2 net EMF or equivalent EMF of two cell. But in the first case we have total EMF E equivalent is equal to E1 plus E2. But internal resistance of two cell is written as R1 plus R2 because resistance of a cell or any instrument is not negative. That is always positive. So net equivalent resistance is always equal to R1 plus R2 and net equivalent EMF is E1 minus E2. Thanks. Have a nice day.